keep them in the streets okay keep it on the streets Hey guys, what's up? It's Kaylin and welcome to my corner. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a holiday get ready with me. This is my holiday look for my work holiday party. So if you're curious on how I got this look, we're gonna be doing a little chit chat because we got some topics to talk about. But before we get into this video, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss any of my videos in the future. Now let's go ahead and switch over to Kaylin before the makeup. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this hair chop because I have not flat ironed it in a minute and it needs to be flat ironed. I don't know how people be doing their um, hair after they do their makeup. Like I just have never been that type of chick. But you know, if that's what you do, whatever, pull it up out, that's cool. But I'm very much a hair first kind of girl. Then I do my makeup and then, you know, we just keep it pushing. But I do have my lashes on um, just to make my life a little bit easier. I don't want to put my lashes on on camera. I knew that was gonna stress me out. So I was like, let me put my lashes on in the bathroom before I get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this part because everybody knows how to flat iron hair. If you don't know how to flat iron hair, sis, I'm sorry. <laughs> this video not for to teach you how to flat iron some hair. But uh, let me go ahead and speed through that. I need a heat protecting child. I'm out of heat protected, so this hair just gonna have to go with that. But yeah, we're gonna speed through the flat iron process because I'm not here to teach y'all how to flat iron. And if you don't know, then you know, look up another YouTuber that gonna show y'all. But yeah, we gonna we gonna speed through that. Okay y'all, so the hair is all done. And let me give y'all the specs on the hair because you know, I have to shout out my hair sponsor, Be Sleek Boutique. I wanna thank them so much for partnering me on this Get Ready With Me. Y'all know that I have been working with Be Sleek Boutique for, mm, when was my birthday? September for a couple of months now, closer to the end of the year. And when I tell y'all I love their hair, girl, I love their hair. I have in three bundles in a closure. Um, my closure is 18 inches. 18 inches is a five by five closure. I have it in a 20, 22, and 24 inch bundles in the straight texture. And y'all know that I have previously tested out the body wave texture. Girl, body wave texture is fire. I used it for two installs. I'm probably gonna use it again for another install. But I wanted to go with straight this go around because my go-to is normally curly hair. Um, and it just looks so good. Y'all probably can't see in the camera how long it is, but it's super long on me. I'm 5'5", five five, which most of y'all know, even though I look a lot taller than that. I'm only 5'5". Five five, so this hair is super long on me. It goes down to my back. This is from the Honey Bee line, which is a little bit of the more affordable line. But if you want to go a step up, you can definitely shop from the Queen b line which is a better grade of hair which both of the hair qualities are fire like the honey bee line i have no complaints this hair does not tangle the straight barely sheds the body wave sheds a little bit but that's because i probably put more heat in it and curl it a little bit more but this hair like literally barely sheds and y'all can see how glossy it is and i'm not the best when it comes to taking care of bundles i'm not gonna lie i need to wash this so with me putting heat on it probably too much and no heat protector 
then girl this hair still looks good but i'm gonna leave all the specs in the link to beastly boutique below um if you're curious this hair was in style by my stylist brie blessed by breezy i'm also gonna leave her information down below this is a sew-in this go around which is why i have a maintenance appointment coming up at the end of this week but i have had to give y'all the specs on the hair and as y'all can see i just flat ironed it it flat irons bone straight like look at it look at how luscious that looks and it is some of the best quality hair that i've ever tried and the closure stylists go crazy for these closures y'all these co i'm laying my edges right now so y'all gonna see what the closure is looking like after i'm done with my makeup but girl this <laughs> look at me flicking my hair but girl this closure honey she's getting scalp okay what lace Wait, so let's go ahead and get into these topics while I'm doing my face. Um, so the first topic that I have, since this is holiday focused, y'all did send me some like holiday style questions, which I appreciate. Um, so the first topic I have is dating during the holidays. So I feel like dating during the holidays is a very, very weird thing, especially, well not weird, but I feel like it can get kind of weird um, if you're in like a fresh relationship because if you're dating somebody that is very very much family oriented like myself then you have to figure out how to split up the holidays you have to figure out like whose house you're going to for thanksgiving whose house you're going to for christmas girl and if if your mama and your people anything like my mama they possessive they don't want me to spend, spend the holidays with anybody else but them so dating during the holidays is definitely a time for you to learn how to compromise and learn how to like navigate your relationship so um for me like i said i have a very family oriented um i'm very family oriented me and my family are very very close me and my mom are super duper close um so she wants to spend every single holiday with me she wants to spend christmas with me she wants to spend thanksgiving with me because also because i'm my only child so if you're in that kind of situation i completely understand but i think that one thing that you do have to do around the holidays is definitely compromise because you're gonna have to if your significant other is family oriented like you then here's or her family is going to want to spend time with their child as well especially if they have siblings um i'm kind of learning how to maneuver around siblings because i do have step siblings but um for the most part it was mainly just me and my mom and my cousins and my grandparents which are kind of my cousins are kind of like my siblings but you do have to learn how to compromise so if your significant other if they people stay in another state i would say definitely split up the holidays so maybe go see them for thanksgiving and y'all stay with your family for christmas or vice versa because you don't want to take that person away from their family that's very selfish it doesn't make any sense now if they're not close to their family it's a little bit different um so you don't have to maneuver it as much they probably have to maneuver with your family but if y'all both family oriented which for me is a requirement for anybody that i'm dating simply because i want them to be able to understand that like my family comes first period and they get me on the holidays i'm sorry not sorry if you're dating somebody that's like that then they're gonna think about things the exact same way so definitely split up the holidays or um I've been in previous relationships where we would just split up the day. My family, food gonna be done late. It's gonna be dinner, it's not gonna be lunch. So me and my ex, we will go to his family's house first, eat, chill, watch the game, yada, yada, yada. Then we head to my people, get there for dinner, get our to-go place, open gifts, yada, yada, keep it pushing. So I think that dating around the holidays is definitely about all about compromise. Um, and then with that being said, this is all if you're in a serious relationship. If you're not in a serious relationship, girl, don't be bringing these randos around your family. Because your, your family, anything like mine, they're going to talk about you. And you don't want to bring somebody that you're not planning on like spending a long period of time with around your family. Because then it just gets awkward. Like who? <laughs> who want to deal with that? I know. And I know a lot of not to drag men but i know a lot of men that be bringing people around their families that they don't have intentions on uh furthering the relationship with then it gets awkward then they start comparing the girl to your ex and i don't know it's just too much like i can never ever do that also if you're interested in any of the products i want to make sure to leave those linked down below as well i kind of don't want to talk through the products because nothing has changed from my last get ready with me but i'm gonna put every single thing that i use down below and if y'all want like a makeup tutorial then we can do that but this is a chit chat this is a talk honey a talk okay but yeah like i said if you're not gonna be serious with somebody don't bring them around your family because they get attached 
and then they be talking about John for like six months up until the next holiday and you like John is not coming around sis me and John was just messing around on the side to be honest don't rush into something just because the holidays are coming up the holidays can be a very lonely time for singles especially if you are in a situation like mine where all of your friends are in relationships so it gets kind of rough but girl just love yourself don't just be bringing people around just because that don't make no sense because it's a very serious time the holidays are a very intimate time it's important to spend time with your family so just be with your family um that is if you and your family are close if they're not close then i would say definitely make time to spend with your friends because the holidays is all about spending time with your loved ones taking care of your loved ones and giving back which you should be doing throughout the year but i definitely think that the holidays is like it's on 100 giving back and spending time with your loved ones is definitely on 100 so if you're single for the holidays girls don't even worry about it we single together okay if you ain't got your boo to spend the holidays with then that's cool but um i think it's a good time to date though i will say that like if you're just starting to like meet somebody because there's so much to do there's so many fun dates that you can go on around the holidays you can go see christmas lights you can go get like hot cocoa um you can go ice skating all kinds of stuff so yeah i wouldn't trip if you're single around the holidays and you want to date absolutely nothing wrong with it just don't be bringing all your boyfriends home girl keep them in the streets okay keep it on the streets Alrighty, so the next topic that you guys sent me is when is it too soon to gift give so this is a good question because me i want to give after two weeks <laughs> no nah, i'm just playing <laughs> But I think it's I think it just depends on the relationship and the dynamic that y'all have. I do think that it should be discussed. Um, I don't think that it's something that you just just spring on somebody. And I don't think that you should expect something from somebody if it's too soon. Let's say let's just throw a time frame out there. Let's say y'all have been dating for three months because we don't talk. We grown. We, we date. So let's say y'all have been dating for three months. I feel like there's nothing wrong with asking for a gift or giving somebody a gift after three months because that's enough time for you to get to know somebody and if y'all are in a good place i don't see why you shouldn't spoil your man or your woman with gifts they deserve it now if they've been playing if y'all been off and on and you talking to other people and they talking to other people i don't think i would recommend a gift but if y'all are moving towards something and working towards something then i would definitely 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 recommend getting a gift but i think it just depends on what's important to you if christmas and the holidays is important to you if that's an important time frame and you feel like gift giving is your love language um and you just want to show somebody that you care about them get them a gift girl now if y'all only been talking for three months i wouldn't say drop a bag because like y'all know each other but y'all don't really know each other i feel like that's still the honeymoon phase but um i don't think there's something nothing wrong with giving a gift social media will tell you otherwise and social media will probably tell you that you need to cash out honey don't cash out just get them a nice little maybe a hundred dollars something you know a little shirt a little sweatshirt a little hoodie not a pair of shoes because they're running about your life oh don't get them no shoes and don't get them a watch a watch i forgot what the saying is about a watch but shoes they walk about your life don't get them no shoes I don't really see anything wrong with getting somebody a gift because I feel like gift giving is very intimate and we're gonna touch on that as well um, but it's just showing somebody that you care that you thought about them but get them something that they actually want y'all don't just be buying them stuff that you've seen on social media get them something that they actually want they deserve it get it if they don't deserve it then you need to reevaluate your situation okay so the next topic is oh somebody said the intimacy of gift giving so i said that i was going to touch on this because um i do think that gift giving is very intimate i think that gift giving is very very special um and i think that somebody can easily mess up gift giving by having too much of an ego and what i mean by that is most people women especially we'll tell you what we want we don't be doing all that extra stuff dropping hints especially if you got somebody in your life that's a virgo like me alpha woman that's very picky not even alpha woman somebody that's very picky that knows what she wants um i think that people tell you what they want without either with telling you like directly like i'll be like i like this this is what i want or indirectly so you just have to listen to what people want and don't get your ego involved in it i never understood why people just bought people what they want them to have i feel like that doesn't make any sense if you have a good woman 
or a good man in your life, why would you just buy them something they don't even want? Sorry, y'all. Lola was going crazy. And with nobody at the door. Anyways, like I was saying, I don't understand why people do that. And by people, this is not a bash men video, I promise. But men are usually the people that get women things that they don't want, but that they want them to have. Which is cool. I feel like spoil your girl, spoil your man. But like if they tell you that they want something, why would you just not go ahead and get them that? Because what's going to happen is, let's use a car for example. Let's say I want a G-Wagon. I don't want a G-Wagon, but let's say I want a G-Wagon. Why would you go, and if you could afford it, this is all hypothetically saying if you can afford it. If you can afford it, and I tell my man, oh baby, I want a G-Wagon. I want this, 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 and this in my G-Wagon. Okay, cool. If you bring me a G, I'm gonna be pissed. And it, that might be kind of shallow. No, 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 no. I don't think that's shallow because I think that's just very selfish of you to not give somebody what they actually want, what they actually care about. Because at the end of the day, like me being grateful for what I have, I'm going to draw the Jeep. But like, girl, I wanted a Jeep wagon. And this is all saying that you can afford it. Please be mindful. And I just feel like that takes away some of the um, specialness and the intimacy like i said of gift giving like why would you not get somebody something that they want but that they're not going to be excited about whenever you open it up like why would you do that <laughs> now if you give me something on top of what i wanted that's lovely and i hate to sound literally this is not for me to sound greedy or anything like that and ungrateful but dead ass <laughs> y'all you dead ass right now like why would you not give me what i asked for Man, you be mad at me if you want a PS5 and I got you an Xbox. I think that gift giving should be very thoughtful. Um, and people are gonna argue and say like, oh, like if you get somebody wish list, like and they get you somebody wish list, ain't not thoughtful. No, I think that's thoughtful because you actually took the time out to go find what I wanted. Cause sometimes what I want is hard to find. And I'ma love you more for you getting me what I want, child. I promise. But yeah, like I said, gift giving I think is very special. There's just something that makes you feel good about giving somebody something that they're gonna have for a long time or giving somebody something that makes them smile or makes them feel special. And I'm not just talking about monetary things here. I have gifted very sentimental gifts in the past. Um, well thought out gifts that people very much appreciated. And it doesn't have to be like expensive usually. Like usually people just want something simple or like for you to think about what you're actually giving them so this holiday season if you're watching this just make sure you take the time out to actually think about what you're gifting somebody and just make it as special as intimate as possible i feel like you don't always have to go out and social media we're gonna talk about this too makes people think that they have to do these big old extravagant things but like if your significant other is or your friend is not into extravagant things why would you do that why would you waste your money and waste your time and waste your friend's time? Okay, so the next topic that I have is has social media ruined gift giving? This was my favorite topic because it has. To. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. The short answer is yes, yes it has. And the reason I say this is because social media makes people think that they have to do all these extravagant things when like I said before, if that's not what your person like, then why are you doing that? Also, social media is very, very fake. People be buying stuff just to take a picture. People be renting things just to stunt on the gram. So just because you see somebody doing it on Instagram, that does not mean that you have to do it. That does not mean that that's the thing that needs to be included in your relationship. And by that, let me break it down. So let's just say, you see an Instagram post and it's doing it by his girl. Chanel, Louis, all this stuff. Decked it out, right? Rose, it, rose petals, flowers, all of this stuff. Why would you go and ask your man that? Ask your man for that and he can't afford it. And then you're going to try to tell him that he's not a man because he can't do it for you. What kind of sense does it make for your man to go out and do all of that? Work 10 jobs to do that. And he can't pay his rent after he done bought you all these gifts. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Now, I'm not saying like you shouldn't be spoiled and you, should, you shouldn't be treated right. That is not what I'm saying because I very much like to be spoiled. I very much like to be treated like a lady. What I'm saying is you need to act your wage. 
and don't be trying to live outside your means just to stunt. oh no my mirror died and don't be trying to live outside your means just to stunt on the gram it don't make no sense and don't be downplaying your significant other because they're not doing something that you've seen on instagram that don't make no sense because nine times out of ten with these what these niggas doing on instagram they be cheating on their girls so yeah they finna buy her a louis and a chanel and a and, a, and have rose petals and all of that you don't need that because your man don't cheat on you your man is just at home playing 2k and he's chilling and he's getting you what you want within y'all means y'all making 50k a year but you want a chanel ma'am <laughs> that don't make no sense and i feel like social media has just taken away from the specialness is that a word specialness the intimacy that's our word of the day intimacy of gift giving it's just i don't like that i don't like how people have turned gift giving into a show i don't think it should be a show i think if you want to like showcase um what you're getting somebody that's cool um show it off on the internet a little bit but all that flashy stuff like buying the lambo trucks and then people trying to compete and go get a lambo truck baby we not earning money back we are Kaylin and imaginary name here. Kevin. Ooh, that sounds like a white man. Why would Kaylin and Brown, who make 50K a year, try to compete with these people that make bags? Big bags. Big bags. For me, the type of men that I date, downplaying them financially does not help. And they just gonna have this aggression towards me because they can't afford this extremely expensive bag that I want. And I just look, I just social media y'all are taking away the specialness of gift giving y'all like ugh, i just don't understand and again i'm not saying you don't deserve to be spoiled that is not what i'm saying but please do not get caught up in the hype all of this stuff is not real half of this stuff is fake half of this stuff be so they can fix what they did to their girl they treated their girl wrong so they showering them with gifts or they showering them with gifts but they can't post that man because that man is a hoe or he's or they're the side chick like i just it just doesn't make any sense and i really hate that we've come to this because i used to get so caught up in that because i do enjoy romance i love a little rose petal but baby you can get rose petals in a little bottle of champagne and that's ten dollars it don't have to be half half a milli on a ticket and i think that um this city girl lifestyle that everyone wants to live including myself just a little bit social media has turned into a platform where it's just very much unrealistic we are setting unrealistic expectations for ourselves and then when they don't happen we looking at a man like what you doing why you can't buy me that such and such man bought her that such and such did this why you can't do that but it just doesn't make any sense to compare them because they're on two compare that situation because they're on two totally different levels and they're not you Every relationship is different. Everybody wants something different. Tell y'all, for those of y'all that are younger that watch me, do not get caught up in hype. Do not. Now, if you can afford that, that's totally different. We can say that conversation for another day. But if not, baby, like I said, act your wage. Wage. I'm not saying age. Act your wage. Your bank account. Okay, so the next topic is unrealistic wish list, which I'm assuming this person is talking about putting things on your wish list that you can't afford or that people cannot like not achieve but cannot reach they cannot get to which is kind of what i touched on when i talk about how social media has like ruined gift giving and set these extremely high expectations that people cannot meet um and i think that when it comes to unrealistic wish lists it's the same thing i got the same view act your wage act your wage don't be going out here acting people for an amg kitted beans and you can't afford that for yourself now i will say with your with your wish list, with your wish list i would consider an um unrealistic wish list to be something that you can't afford to buy for yourself now if i can afford to buy it and that's something that i want for myself i'm not really finna talk to you if you can't and i'm talking about dating here i'm not really finna talk to you if you can't buy it for me I'm not gonna lie because or if you're not even willing to I don't want this to sound materialistic but it is a little bit it's just like I want you to be able to to match me I want us to be equally yoked even if it's financial I want us to be close in finances because if I want these nice lavish lush things and I'm going to be able to buy them for myself I want my man to be able to buy them too period 
I'm sorry, that's just me personally. That's just how I feel. I just feel like relationships are supposed to add on to you. So that person is supposed to, you know, compliment you in some way and add on to you. And I just feel like if you're not even willing to get close to what I want, or you're like, ooh, that bag is too expensive. Ooh, why are you spending money on it? Ooh, 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 ooh. Nah, one needs to be together. I work hard for my money. I work hard for my items. I work hard for everything that I have. You're not gonna tell me I can't get that and you're not gonna tell me that you don't think you're gonna get that for me because why not? Now that comes within dating in your tax bracket and all of that, which again, we can talk about on another get ready with me. But when it comes to unrealistic wish lists, I personally think that for me, something that would be unrealistic is something that I would not and cannot buy for myself. Like I'm not gonna ask nobody for a Birkin. I can't buy myself no Birkin yet. We are working on it. But why would I ask you for that? That don't even make sense. So I think that people just have to keep in mind that, again, social media sets these unrealistic expectations and you just need to know what you can do for you. So put things on your wish list that you can afford. You and your man, mainly you. Because I, I'm sorry, I just, I can't date somebody that can't afford it. Like I just can't, I can't. Or that's not even willing to try to get there for me, baby. Cause I work hard for these two, two degrees on my wall. This bachelor's and this master's honey. So if I want a Louis bag, Kaylin gonna get her a Louis bag. If I want a YSL bag, Kaylin gonna get her a YSL bag. And you can't tell me otherwise. And then especially with black girl luxury becoming so popular, which I think there's a range of black girl luxury. I don't think it's all about luxury items. I think it's about spoiling yourself and getting you the things that you want and you deserve. I think that us as black women, we deserve that. So if you're not finna add on to me, if you're not willing to do that, then honey, there's the door. And me and my unrealistic wish list gonna be out. And I'm finna go find somebody that'll buy it for me. I'm gonna get it for myself, period. Okay, so the face is all done. I'm actually ready a little bit early, so I'm gonna chill a little bit. I low key need to shave my legs. I thought I was gonna have time, but I definitely have time. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna show you guys the outfit and the fragrance that I'm gonna be wearing. And I need to take this milk band off because I'm gonna have a line on my forehead and up. That's not cute. Okay, you guys, so here is the dress that I'm wearing. I got it from Upscale, which y'all know if you watch my vlog that I uh, went to Upscale yesterday and found this dress, just this velvet red ruche dress. And then I have on my Shaper Mint Shapewear underneath. Then I'm wearing these clear heels. And then for the bag, I have this gold bag that I got from Shein. Jewelry is, of course, JBW Watch because, of course, it is a grand time holiday party. So I had to wear my JBW Watch. And then for fragrance, we have Flory Until Almond from um, Dossier, which is is a dupe for the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Gone Bad. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I just put my lippy on. Um, I do need to add a necklace, but I'm gonna have to get some help with it, and I don't have time to do that and film this outro. All the products that I use are going to be linked down below. If you're interested in this lippy, I mixed a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna make sure to leave that down below. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let's start a conversation in the comments down below. Let's talk about gift giving, the intimacy of gift giving, what's on your holiday wish list. But thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will catch y'all on my next one. Bye.